Question. What's the most important thing to you off the tee? Finding a fairway or pure distance? And what club gives you that solution? Driver, fairway wood, utility, long iron? And one last question. Which gives you the most confidence and how important is that to you in your decision? Let me explain. A number of questions that I've asked myself in recent weeks and probably asked myself a number of times over the years, but it's led to something that I never thought would ever happen. And that's two drivers in the bag and I'll tell you why. Right, so as I get my, uh, my warm up underway, which starts off with a coffee down here at Conway, it's not the greatest of mornings here this morning, but first question was, what is it you look for off the tee? Is it about finding fairways or is it about pure distance? Well, ultimately the answer in the, in the perfect world is gonna be both, isn't it? If we can find a fairway with the longest club in the bag, then it's always gonna be reach for that driver. But for me, what I've noticed is sometimes I'm chasing distance and chasing distance means a lack of control. And that means I'm not finding fairways and that's what I need to find a solution to. I need an option. The video that I'm gonna to do today is gonna to look at how I came to the solution that I did on hopefully achieving two things. I get the ultimate option in terms of when I want distance, when I wanna hit that ball as far as I can, I've got that option in the bag. But I've also put another option in the bag that gives me a balance between the two. One that can give me some control, still gives me some distance, not pure distance, but gives me a better chance in my head at least of finding that fairway. We'll see. That's option one. Well, I'll tell you what, for first two balls of the morning, they are absolutely knuckle balls. I'm gonna see, first of all, how much difference there is between those two t-shirts because I've hit them both pretty much exactly as I'd hoped to. The second shot, was with my driver. That's going to be the one that's ultimately going to be the longest. How much longer is it? And why do I feel the need to have this other club in the bag? Okay, so first two tee shots, and more than happy with both, but here's the kind of difference we're talking about. First ball left of pitcher, that is with driver one. And then you can see driver two is realistically, I would say probably 30, maybe even 40 yards further on. And that's a huge difference in choice of club for the next shot in. Right, so second question was, which do you feel most confident with? Or which would you choose to go to? And for me, like I said, if I had the choice of do I hit pitching wedge off the first tee or do it drive us a sort of first shot in the morning, which would I prefer? Well, it'd be the pitching wedge because shorter shaft, greater control, more confidence, all those kind of things and far easier to hit. That'd be my simple explanation. So it's the same with driver. I want the club in hand that I'm the most confident with. The one I can get the most distance with, assuming we're playing a sort of par four, par five start. And that's where it starts to beg a question. What am I most confident with? And in recent weeks, what I've noticed is when a game goes astray for me, it all focuses around the driver. And when I lose lack of control of the driver, the whole game goes to pot. And again, that's where I need a solution. If we're going to carry two drivers, then we're potentially having to move something else out the bag to make way for it. And quite possibly that's going to be three wood. And a three wood is where I'd look to be reaching to the bag now to play this kind of shot in. The question is, can I utilize this driver to play the same shots that I would with a three wood? And that means picking it up off a tight lie on a fairway. And the answer is yes. And maybe far better than I can with me three wood. So it's ticking two boxes. And yeah, you're guessing. You know what it is. I'm still not telling you, though. 
Right, so the second driver in question, no doubt you've all guessed, and the one that I'm really considering putting back in the bag, and he's considering I'm going to carry on doing and playing with these two clubs, is the TaylorMade Mini Driver. Many of you who watch the channel know this is a product I put straight in a bag after testing uh, last year sometime. And to be honest with you, it made a massive difference to my game in that I was able to get, I was finding more fairways, it's that simple. My confidence grew, I then did the inevitable thing. I wanted more distance. I wanted that all out distance. I wanted the 20, 30 yards extra distance that we've seen. So I snuck back, the driver went back and the mini driver went out. Have my driving stats been as good? I don't know exactly, but I would say no, they probably haven't. I don't think I've found as many fairways. And for me, dry ball data says this, 20 to 25 yards difference in carry difference between the two drivers. Spin number, again, maybe 1,500 revs of spin higher. So this ball isn't going to travel as far, not only in the air, but when it lands. And we've just seen that in those first two drives. But they each do a totally different job. And like I've just shown with a shot from the fairway, and hopefully another one here, there's plenty of versatility that suggests the option of putting them both in the bag could be, a, could be something that can really, really help my game and do two things. And not only make it a very playable club in the bag, but also do something that is really key. Oh, wow, I'll tell you what. I said it at the time and I've forgotten a little bit. The ball flight that you're able to get in pink, I've just hit two shots there with a driver effectively off the deck. The ball flight suggests it's nothing like a driver, but the big key factor and the final thing in all this is the word confidence. Now I've got to be quite honest with you, this is probably uh, the best scenario in terms of what could have happened in terms of playing down 12 here to do this video. Um, we've ended up with one ball on the green, pin I put for eagle, and the other ball is to my right by my feet. And uh, like I said, I've played this all a number of times and it's very rare I get up on the green in two. So trust me, it's a, there's an element of good luck and good fortune here this morning. I have it two absolute belters, but I suppose it is what it is. But anyway, the point is this, mini driver, mini driver is the ball that's uh, to my right and again, just short of the green or whatever, 20 yards short of the green, take that in a par five any day of the week. And to get the ball up in terms of playing driver, mini driver is the ball that's pin eye in two, which is a fantastic result for me, like I said. But the point is this, having the two clubs in the bag, even in this hole alone, demonstrate the versatility and the possibilities of considering playing both. And in the last clip that I mentioned, I talked about confidence. And for me, that's the major key. And the final thing that I want to talk about and why it could be ultimately what makes this decision very straightforward and easy. I ran the situation in that I can't walk away from an eagle putt because I don't come across them too often, but I haven't even got a putter in the bag this morning for this testing. So the question is, can a mini driver also double up as another club in the bag, a putter? Oh, that would have been some eagle. Driver, mini driver, mini driver. Decent birdie though. Now one of the questions I asked you last of all in the introduction was about confidence and how much that uh, impacts on your decisions to what you carry in your golf bag. And for me to carry two drivers in the bag, then uh, confidence is a big reason as to why I would do that. I've already mentioned about that first tee, that situation where getting going with your swing and uh, often, I don't know about you, but if I start off pretty ropey with the driver and it all becomes a little bit wayward, it impacts on the rest of my game. And it impacts in a negative way in that not so much. The confidence becomes an issue because all of a sudden you've got no rhythm, you've got no tempo. And that's the biggest thing that plays a part in my game into whether I play good or bad. So when I start bad with the driver, the rhythm starts to go. I start to try hit the ball inevitably as we do that little bit harder off the tee. That then starts to resonate throughout the game and the swing becomes, like I said, disjointed, it's got no rhythm. So it has a negative impact throughout the game. And the idea for me is perhaps starting with a club that is, gives me more confidence, that I don't feel that I've got, I'm looking for pure distance, it's not all about distance, I'm just about finding the fairways. Playing my way into the game, starting off with the likes of the mini driver, as soon as the confidence builds, as soon as the fairway starts to widen up, making the right decisions to say, right, plenty of room on here, I can really start to go after the driver. Then reaching for the driver as well as that second option 
and it's not such a bad idea after all and I quite like the idea of the combination and like I said more importantly for me it has to double up as another club and I can honestly say I can hit this as good if not better than any three wood that I've played so it does replace that idea of the three wood as well but this video, like all videos are do, the reason I ask the questions at the beginning is the questions that I ask of you, because it doesn't matter. This might be an absolutely ridiculous idea for most golfers. If you don't struggle with your driver, if you've got no issues with rhythm, with control with your driver, then it's not something you would ever look at. I purely ask the questions based on the questions that I ask myself, but ultimately it's only the answers that you give that matter. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I've enjoyed it in some of the best shots that I've hit on a video, to be quite honest with you, in, uh, in recent months, unexpectedly as well. And they went out the screws. And I really do think that in the coming weeks that I'll end up with two drivers in the bag. And I like the idea. And hopefully it gives me confidence. Hopefully I find fairways. And hopefully it's a good combination between the two.